Kayla. Guidance counselors from surrounding districts will be at Bram Area High School today after two students died in a crash over the weekend. The crash happened Saturday morning at an intersection west of Mora in Kanaba County. The sheriff's office says a crash involved two vehicles, but it's not saying what happened. Now, this is a Snapchat photo of the two victims. Alexis Hasser was a senior and Gavin Butenhoff was a junior at Bram. Gavin's twin sister, Grace, says her brother recently overcame a drug addiction and he was healthy again. It's like knowing that I'm, I'm not going to grow up with him anymore and our birthday is coming up on the 20th, so he's not going to be there for our 17th birthday. It's hard to think think positively because it feels like it all just came crashing down so fast, you know. Bram Area High School only has a part-time counselor and one full-time social worker. That is why neighboring school districts offered to help. At least five will be at the high school today. A woman from Fairmont is dead after a suspected drunk driving rollover. This happened just after midnight yesterday on Highway 263 in Martin County. Pickup truck rolled several times, ejecting both the man at the wheel and the woman in the passenger seat. 26-year-old Myra Guzman of Fairmont died. The driver, 27-year-old Tyler Byers of Fairmont, was taken to the hospital with non-threatening life, uh, non-life-threatening injuries. State Patrol crash report says they suspect alcohol was involved. Five of the six people aboard a helicopter that crashed into New York City's East River last night have died. Police say a sixth person, the pilot, is okay. He freed himself and was rescued by a passing tugboat. Officials say the helicopter was chartered for a photo shoot. This is cell phone video showing the moment that it hit the water. Witnesses saw the propellers stop mid-air before the chopper just dropped. The National Transportation Safety Board is now investigating to determine what exactly caused the crash. There is a new development in the ongoing conversation about how to make our schools safer. The White House unveiled new gun and school safety pr proposals last night. They include a push to arm school faculty, improving background checks for those buying guns, and overhauling parts of the mental health system. Left out of the proposal, increasing the age restriction on some gun purchases. White House says that decision will be left up to a new school safety task force headed up by Education Secretary Betsy DeVos. The president of China now has the right to remain in office indefinitely. The nation's largely ceremony par parliament overwhelmingly removed presidential term limits on Sunday, just a month after the ruling Communist Party announced the amendment. Only two no votes were cast with three absentees from almost 3,000 delegates. President Xi Jinping now becomes China's most powerful leader since Mao Zedong died more than 40 years ago. All right, you've been waiting for this one. The salad dressing bottle worth $35,000. Hidden Valley made two of these filled with ranch dressing. Yeah, it's just ranch. It's in honor of the upcoming royal wedding. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. One of the bottles is being shipped to London to be put on display. The other is being awarded to an online contest winner on March 19th. So why is it worth so much money? It's the cap. 14 karat white gold studded with diamonds and sapphires. Ooh. That ranch dressing in there is the same old Hidden Valley Ranch. People love that dressing. Well, sure, yes, but 35 Does it taste any different, though, with the diamonds and sapphire? I, I would say no. Yeah. I would say no. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, be fun if you win it. What are you going to do with a cap? Mm. Yeah, strip the gems mm -hmm. out of it? Yeah. Yeah. Or just, you know, have the most expensive ranch bottle at your it, neighborhood it's a, gathering. It's a good conversation piece at your dinner party. <laughs> yeah. We have a lot to look forward to with the weather this week.